Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Fish It, Just Like Just Do It. <laughs> and I got pizza. Oh my god. So good. Mmm. Oh. Alright, and today's video is going to be about my bass tackle. Now, bass tackle isn't all my tackle. I got trout tackle. I got all that type of tackle. All I'm showing is my tackle bag, not my bet, not my trout tackle bag, just my bass tackle bag. And the first things I carry in my bass tackle bag is GoPro stuff. Got my GoPro head mount. Got my GoPro chest. And that. That's all, that's all I carry in my bass bag. Mm -hmm. yep. Now nah, I'm just kidding, but. But, we're going to go uh, soft plastic first. Open it up. You already seen this in one video. No, you didn't. What? If you guys did see that, but... That's where I hold my worms. That's my worm bag. This could be a hack because it can it saves room in your tackle bag. And then if you just feel like using soft plastics, you don't want to carry your old tackle bag. It's like a little lunch box you just carry with you. So what I got in my soft plastic bag is I got I got all sorts of stuff. I got a black and red crawdads. Um, blue and black. That all these crawdads are the same. There, that one was blue and black. Uh, green and red, like watermelon. Orange and gray. And. I got some yum crawl pappy. Those I don't know if you guys have seen those before, but they're crawls. Think same. And I got some wacky worms on Mancinkos. I got some Cinco's. This is a neon black speckled white. It's like a baby bass. It's a baby bass color. It has the white belly on the bottom. And this year so far, I have heard that these Cinco's, they're, they're smaller, with a yellow tip, are doing the bomb this year. Don't know why, but me and these people are just nailing it on it. And then I think two years ago, the watermelon one was doing it. It was the best. Mm. And then I got some big bite baits. They're like a Cinco, but it has like a little tail, a little tail, like a little flappy tail on the end. And these were the, for me, these were the bomb for spawning this year. Ripple Shad. Oh, I was just nailing them all. That's why I caught my biggest bass off of this. This bait right here is what I call my biggest bass, six and a half pound bass this year. Six pound club. And then I got some Zoom. I don't know what this one is. These Zoom worms with the curl tail on them. They smell like blueberries. Now I got some all different sorts of grubs. I got golden grubs, got brown, I got white and black grubs. And then I got some zoom flukes, pink flukes, white flukes. Then I got some more zoom flukes. And this is watermelon with the red speckles. Now I got some lizards, zoom lizards. Yeah, zoom lizards and then tubes. I got a different sort. I got mostly white and black tubes. 
and then I got little red and black tubes. Then I got some more. I found those in the ground. These are watermelon with red speckles in them. And then I got these little three inch yellow ones. Yellow ones. I had to put three bags in one bag because I had no more. And then for me, evening bite with Cinco's. Put this Cinco with Texas style rig. You're going to tear up, not wacky, Texas style. You're going to tear up with some pink and the evening bite with Cinco. And about six of these bags with, that came with it are filled with three loot three salt plastic bags because I need room so I just customize my own room. Yeah. Zip zip. There we go. Now I got some um beavers, I think that's what they're called. Pit balls is pit balls. Now I got some lucky E strike. I don't know. They have a curl tail. That's what they're called, actually. Curl tail. Mm. You always want to check if all these bags are shut because you don't want your flavor running out. And that is my worm bag. This worm bag was $18.99 from Bass Pro Shops. It comes with exactly 10 bags already inside it. I had to buy more bags and 10 pack that comes with this set, another like an extra set. Of bags that you can buy. There's ten, and they were six forty nine. That's going back to the bag. And the notebook charger. And also, when it was in misplaced, it is this. I kept it in its case. I use this every like once on spawning. Is a shad swim bait. Yeah. There. That's back. And then in my front pocket, you saw my first video. I weighed my my grippers, so I do not hurt the fish when I put this metal thing up in their gills. You don't want just in case you poke one of them and they start bleeding. So I put the grips. My first video, I weighed my bag. It was 10.25 pounds. I don't know. 10.25 pounds or something. I don't know. Then I got my sunglass holder. What's in this one? Oh, I got my grips. My reel. My baitcaster grips. And then two side pockets. You know how you have your backpack and you got the two side pockets on the end? Those have both. That one, one has 12 pound line and one has 8 pound line. 12 pound line for my bait casters and 8 pound line for my spinning reels. Alright, so first box. The heck is up in it? Like grass. First box is. Read it, read it, read it. It's backwards. So, jigs, spinner baits, and buzz baits. I don't have a lot of jigs, man. I do not have a lot of jigs. I got hair jig, I got blue and black jig. I got two of those. I got a heavy duty. I got a heavy duty white jig. White jig. But I got no more buzz beats. I don't. Want, I, I got one of my reel. That's all. I got two. I got a white one and a black one somewhere. My buzz baits go here. I got a lot of spinner 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 baits. So look, spare baits, buzz baits, and I need 
Four more jigs, I can fill up this whole thing. That's my jigs, spare baits, and bucket baits. And then, G kids and hooks. I got all different types of hooks. Just go on my foot. I think it is one. So I got all different types of hooks. And here they are. Mostly all jig. Jig kids are over here, and mostly all like the worm hooks are over here. And then I got rattle traps and crankbaits. This is a good box. This is all my rattle traps and crankbaits. Everything's filled. I got about three crank crankbaits in each slot and rattle traps. That's a lot of baits right there. But I don't really use crank baits and rattle traps that much. I don't. I got. I just have it in my tackle box just in case. And then jerk baits and top water. I got. What the heck happened here, man? I hate these hooks. I got hula poppers. I got um I forgot the name. I got Kevin Van Dam sexy frog and I got this frog. I got some Rapalos. I got the new, oh, I got zero spooks, I got three, six zero spooks, and I got the live target bluegill, never call anything off of them because I barely even use it, so yeah. I got a rebel bait, I got a bunch of jerk baits, I got the ghost minnow jerk bait. And that's all from our tackle, bass tackle. So I got jerk baits, top water, rattle trap, crank baits, jig head hooks, jig spare baits, and buzz baits. And that is a lot of bait. I told you in my first video, 10 pound, 10 pound bag worth of all fish and stuff. That's a lot. And then my GoPro stuff, so. I'll take that GoPro stuff out of there for now. But I got two rod holder casings on the side, two pockets with line in it, and I got. Big jump. So that was my tackle bag. I'll make another video of all my trout stuff and another video of all my reels. I got a lot of reels there. Over 10, I know that. Um, so I want you guys to stay tuned for the next video or all my videos. I want you guys to subscribe, share, and like. Thank you for watching.